Back now at 810 with the new series, Today Goes Inside the OR. This week, NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, will give us exclusive access to life-changing medical procedures live as they are happening. This morning, she is at University Hospital's Case Medical Center in Cleveland, Ohio, where a heart surgery is underway. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Meredith. I'm doc here with Dr. Mauricio Arruda, and as you know, we have now moved from the operative suite of the cath lab into the control room, because this is an extraordinary procedure for cardiac arrhythmia where the heart just doesn't beat normally. It affects up to 5 million people a year and can cause heart attack and stroke if it's not treated. I'm going to tell you a little bit why this is so extraordinary, what a revolution it is in the treatment of cardiac problems, but first, I'd like to introduce you to today's patient. All Bernice Negi wants is time, more time with her family, especially with her new great-granddaughter. She's beautiful. She is so pretty. When I looked at her and held her in my arms, I was just glowing that here's another new life. They're so sweet when they're born. But Bernice suffers from severe complex left atrial arrhythmia, an irregular heartbeat that makes everything difficult for her. My heart uh, beats fast, irregular, and I can feel it and it feels like uh, you were frightened. Even walking upstairs is a struggle. Like this morning, I just laid on my stairs. I couldn't even go any further. But thanks to technological advances in cardiology, Dr. Mauricio Arruda will be able to fix Bernice's heart in a procedure that is done almost by remote control. Large magnets sitting around the patient that will allow us to move the catheter from a remote station to assure better contact to the heart tissue during the procedure. I'm excited and I'm not afraid. I'll be much stronger and I'll be able to golf and play and do all the fun things in life. A life that has new promise thanks to a dedicated physician, a world-class medical center and extraordinary medical advances. Well, the patient, Bernice, is in the other room with catheters in her groin that feed the catheters up to the heart. Dr. Arruda is sitting here at this control panel, and this is what's revolutionary. With two large magnets around Bernice, he's able to manipulate the fine tips of those catheters to precisely where he wants in the heart. He's mapping the electrical conduction of the heart, the highways. And the problem is with a lot of arrhythmias, you get too many little roads coming into the main highway. So what he's going to do today is map those accessory roads that don't need to be there and then come back and frankly zap those to get rid of the electrical conduction that is interfering with the normal, with the normal electrical conductivity of the heart. Merida? Yeah, let me ask you, where are you in the procedure right now? Where is the doctor in the procedure and how risky is this? Yeah, Dr. Point. Ruda, Meredith just asked, how far along in the procedure are you and how risky yeah. it is? You have mapped out most of the problem in the heart at this point. Exactly. Right? Here the, the geometry of the left upper chamber of the heart is basically reconstructed. And that the upper blue. left chamber of the heart is where all the trouble is right exactly. now. Exactly. The, most of the... And, and this, one of my, this yellow marker is really the magnet, the director, the, direction you're going the, in. The magnet field. Yes. And all these little white dots... Those are the areas that we've been with the catheter and acquired electrical information at this point. So these are the little areas where you think there might be trouble. And then the, the bright colors, the green, the red, are the big blood vessels the that come into the heart. The blood vessels coming from the lungs, yeah. And so when you get all of this mapped out, you then take that catheter and put radio frequency waves to the end of it, and you start to destroy those little areas that are causing the trouble? Absolutely. That that's, generates heat into the tissue. And that and heat then destroys the abnormal parts. Exactly. You know, Meredith, what's extraordinary about this is in the old times, when I've seen this before, you would stand by the patient and you Got would try to fix the area by manipulating the catheter in the groin. But it's analogous to trying to write on a piece of paper by holding the pencil by the eraser. It's just relatively imprecise. Through this apparatus that looks more like a video game, you're actually controlling the real tip of the catheter. So we're talking about millimeters really really precise and the hope is that then Bernice will have this area of the heart that's abnormal today zapped she'll go home and they will monitor her for two or three months and the hope is then that abnormal crazy beating of her heart that's been way too fast that she'll come back and she'll be normal that means she won't be exhausted she won't be short of breath and it minimizes her risk for stroke and heart attack but the fact that this could happen in a control room like this with the patient next door, 
that is a huge technological breakthrough. Yeah, what is the, su the success rate for this kind of surgery? The success rate's about 85%, isn't that 85, right, Dr. Ruda? 85 to 90% nowadays with this particular technology. And then for the 15% of patients who may not have a complete recovery, yeah. sometimes those patients can come back and have this a second time, it, correct? It may be required, yes. Right. And the other cool thing we should say is that we all talk about radiation now uh, whenever we have procedures. Oh, yeah. Because this is magnetic, the radiation risk to the patient is minimum. It's okay. about 50% right. of what it would be normally. And the fact that the staff can stand back here, it means also the exposure to the people who are helping the patient, it's also minimally reduced. We'll follow up with her in a few months, but by all accounts today, what we've seen and uh, the, the the change that's okay. going to happen once they start to pinpoint these little areas, we expect her to do re, re, very, very, very well. And how much okay. longer do you expect the surgery We're to go the on this we morning? Start actually the Dr. Ruder, part. what, is it another, another hour to really get this yeah, done? Yeah, another hour should be done. We're about to start the ablation part of it. So we'll start to zap it another hour, and we should also say that Bernice is awake. She's sedated, but she is awake. This does not require a general anesthetic. You can speak to her. She's fine, uh, drowsy, um, but this, interestingly, doesn't hurt at all, Merida. It's amazing to watch it. Dr. Right. Nancy Steinemann, thank you so much, Dr. Okay, Ruda, as well. Bet.